Hi, I'm Paul from Production Expert. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mix live drums by using the plugins that are available with Studio One. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be mixing different elements of the drum kit. This week, we're going to be starting with the kick drum. And on the kick drum, I'm going to be using the Fat Channel XT, which comes with Studio One. So first of all, let's have a listen to the kick on its own. So this kick has already been gated, but let's hear it inside the track. Okay, let's solo the kick. The first thing I'm gonna do is to bring in the compressor. Now, as you can hear, this kick already is compressed and it's also gated as well. I'm not gonna use this compressor for leveling out the hits of the kick. I'm gonna use it for the sound of the compressor. So let's bring it in. The ratio of two to one is a good place to start. Let's bring back the threshold. If I bring back the attack to its fastest, you'll hear it squash the transients. So I want to let some of those transients through. And that sounds pretty good to me. If I turn up the release, it gets less snappy. And if I bring the release to its fastest, it gets more snappy. And there sounds good. What I also want to do is to check the input and the output levels about the same. Let's boost it just a bit. Right, let's bring the EQ in as this is where we can really shape the sound of the kick. So I'm going to boost and cut certain frequencies to give it either a more modern sound or a more vintage sound. Let's have a look. So first of all, let's boost about 60 hertz. So that's added the bottom end of the kick. So if I want to bring out the click of the kick drum even more or reduce it even more, that's going to be between say four and eight kilohertz. So let's have a listen. Let's boost it. And if I cut it, it starts to remove it. But I like it, let's bring it up a little bit. If I want to give the kick a more vintage sound, I can boost around 500 hertz. Or if I want to give it a more modern sound, I can cut around 500 hertz. It's boosted. And there's cut. Let's hit it with the equalizer out. And in. Inside the Fat Channel XT, we've actually got three different equalizers that we can use. So that's a standard equalizer. Let's bring in the passive one. So the passive is like a pole tech. Again, let's boost at 60 hertz. And also boost between four five and eight. So let's hear that in the track. Let's take it out. Then bring it in. Right, that sounded pretty good. Let's try the vintage EQ. So on the vintage EQ, it's like a Neve. So we've got the choice between 35, 60 hertz, 110, or 220 hertz. Let's keep it on 60. Give it a bit of a boost. Now the difference between the vintage EQ and the passive EQ compared to the standard EQ is you've got a shelf here. And again, let's boost at 7.2 for the click. Try 4.8. Let's bypass it. And now let's try some of that vintage sound. So as we haven't got 500 hertz here, we've got a choice of 360 or 700. Let's try that. Boosted and cut for more modern sound. Let's 
Let's bring it out. And in. The next thing that we can do with the fat channel is to put the equaliser before the compressor. Right, we're losing a bit more low end. So we can use a key filter so the compressor doesn't react below a certain frequency. So I can let all the bottom end through and just have the compressor coming in after about 80 hertz. So I'm Paul from Production Expert. I hope you got something out of that and I'll see you guys next time where I'm going to be starting on the snare drums. Thank you.